and welcome back folks. A gorgeous day outside. Temperatures in the upper 70s, even lower 80s. 81 in Lewisburg, 76 in Marlington, 77 in Pipestem and Oak Hill. We did not break a record in Beckley or Bluefield. Take a look at the warm temperatures all across much of the country, except when you get out to the northern Rockies and the Cascades. There must be a weather system on this way. Indeed, that weather system will approach but we have to wait until Sunday. However, we are going to get rain from this southern storm, an area of low pressure that's spinning here across the southeast, turning in some showers and storms. Almost looks like an inland tropical storm, has a big counterclockwise swirl to it. Well, it's not, but it is a low pressure and it is going to bring us rain just in time for your Friday. The weekend rainmaker is across the west. We have the cooler temperatures behind it, and of course the influx of moisture out ahead of it. That will bring us some rain once we get into later this weekend. Here's how it all plays out on the weather map. You wake up to dry weather. The showers come after about 9 or 10 a.m. scattered throughout the day. We should get a quarter to a half an inch of rain. That system moves off to the east along I-95 Saturday. So most of Saturday will be dry after about 8 or 9 o'clock. And then this next storm system will approach and bring a band of some moderate to briefly heavy rain Sunday evening. In its wake, we will have a cooler air mass. So goodbye to the temperatures near 80 degrees and hello to more seasonable temperatures. But we do rebound next week before the next frontal system approaches next Thursday into Friday. So for this first round of rain, what we can expect through Friday evening, about a quarter to a half of an inch of rain. That way you don't have to water the flowers tomorrow if you have planted them yet. Once we get into Saturday, well, most of the day again dry except early in the morning, so we'll just add a little bit on to our rainfall total. And then Sunday evening, this is a cumulative rainfall, so we're not talking about an inch of rain just on Sunday evening. We will see about a quarter to another half an inch of rain from this frontal system as it moves through late Sunday, early Monday. You've had plenty of time to wash the car, but if you haven't done it yet, I would not advise tomorrow. It'll be poor. Fair on Saturday, but I wouldn't advise waxing it because having an extended period of dry weather, maybe four or five hours, doesn't look too likely until you get late in the day. And then Sunday will be poor, that is later in the day once we get the frontal system in. So here's how your seven day forecast shapes up upper 60s on your Friday. Showers, couple showers early Saturday, the high 70 degrees. Mid 70s before that front comes through Sunday. And notice our temperatures early next week. We are down into the 50s. And the air will be cold enough for a few snow flurries north of Marlington. That's about the extent of the snow around here. And then we rebound into the mid to upper 70s once we get into Thursday. So there we go. The rain to wash away the pollen.